Uh, Captain Eisman is back with us uh, as we examine the changing face of Hollywood with an inside look at one of the most sought after cosmetic surgeries. We didn't have to wait long for this, did we? No, Catherine. Now, we just saw Dr. Orion speak about his work with the world's biggest stars, but you also had a had a consultation. He bulked bills, so that's fine. We're not going to see the bill here at the morning show. <laughs> Petty cash. Talk us through it. <laughs> It's not petty cash, that's for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, I, you know, I couldn't help but ask, you know, what would he do if I was one of his celebrity clients coming for a consultation? What minor adjustments would he make to my face to make it perfect and kind of flawless like a Kardashian face? And he really took me through the paces. And I did ask him as well, when you're just having a normal conversation with someone, do you end up, like, unintentionally identifying what their flaws are and how you could improve? And he said yes. Um, so I'm about to show you what's very nerve-wracking, but exactly what he would do to fix what's going on over here. Have a look. The most important thing that I noticed is that uh, some of the things that, for example, you can change about your lifestyle is I noticed that you sleep on the left side of your face all the time. I do. I yeah. sleep. I never sleep on the right so side of my the face, thing is that ever. It's very subtle, but you can see that your uh, left side of your cheek is a little bit flatter compared to this side, to the right side, and that's because your cheek is nicer and, and, and that's probably your best side to take photos. It is. That's so why I'm standing right here. If I lift your eyebrows a little bit, I can smooth out your forehead. So we're going to get you up some of the crow's feet here, some of the crow's feet around your eyes. Wow. We can open up your eyelids and make you look more alert. This is a brand new you. She's got a good heart, though. This she means well. Yes, she, <laughs> obviously, obviously, still very stunningly beautiful. But the, the point is, you know, the very subtle things. Nobody's going to, if you want to do even all these procedures, nobody's going to look at you and say, "Wow, who's your doctor?" Now they will, though. Yeah. With technology and medical science making the impossible possible, it's little wonder that an increasing number of people, especially young people, are seeking to bring out the idealised Instagram version of themselves out of the phone and into real life. Just ask UCLA Information and Gender Studies professor Sophia Noble. The research shows there's a direct relationship between increased selfies and increased desire to modify the body or engage in plastic surgery. People are able to imagine and see themselves modified through these digital technologies. They're using filters, they're using Photoshop applications, aware of themselves in a way that they might never have been able to be as aware. Um, is it so much different than the mirror? Maybe not, but the way in which one can circulate that image that one sees in the mirror and get approval or disapproval um, is definitely shifting. Our relentless self-documentation is not only changing the way we see ourselves, but exposure to a million selfies taken each day by other people is broadening the very concept of beauty. We've seen um, the Kardashian family in particular and the idea of Kim Kardashian's behind or Kylie Jenner's lips as um, hyper desirable. Um, that certainly probably couldn't have happened without social media. Um, it's also interesting though because they are giving us a very different aesthetic um, and sense of beauty. I, you know, I think about when I was young, um, we had fashion magazines to see and understand what's beautiful. It was a very narrow conception of beauty. It was decided by editors um, and photographers. And now there's a hashtag for curly girls, right? There are all, there are all types of uh, multiracial and um, other types of beauty images that are circulating. While the definition of beauty has never been more racially diverse, dissatisfaction with how we look is no less common. So if you're not totally happy with what your mama gave you, don't worry, there's always Dr. Orion. Yeah, well, you're probably wondering, have I had any work done because I do look that good? No, I'm just kidding. No, I haven't had anything done. But it was fascinating to see what a perfected version of your face uh, is. And I actually look quite different. And, and you couldn't identify what was different, but the overall feel was like, who is that, you know? She's quite attractive, I should ask her out. Um, but what's really interesting about uh, Dr. Orion is he's kind of ushering in this new era uh, where people are increasingly seeing that the face that they were born with or the body they were born with is optional, you know? So that's mm. a really interesting kind of social observation as well as obviously from a Hollywood cosmetic perspective as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, hey. Uh, I'll, can I Oh, sorry. Catherine, look, this is what's going to happen. <laughs> Kylie has an opinion, then I'll chime in at the end. No, no, when I, saw the think, I, when I saw the difference, I went, wow, look at how much he can do with just a little bit of tweaking. But then I'm really glad you showed that lady at the end, the academic, 
like it's yeah. it, that's this isn't it's not about this we're just looking at ourselves too much isn't it? we should be happy yeah. with what we've got we should be happy we've got what we've well, got yeah, well, we, no, because it, it makes me a bit sad. Yeah, no, it is, uh, yeah. It is sad. Because you're gorgeous, Catherine. And to think oh, that you, like, you're gorgeous, but you could be a little bit more gorgeous if you went and did that. Like, it's well, what Catherine's saying, well, she's looking at herself yeah. on that big screen going, yeah, I would ask her out. <laughs> So for Catherine to want to ask Look, herself, I'm the out, only one. I'm I'm the only one that would. So you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, and I'm, yeah, and I'm yeah, married, yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> right. Hey, Catherine, no, good stuff. Look, no, really, it's interesting. Really, really, totally interesting. And if you could ask him that app that he's got on his big screen there, because I'd like that for my Instagram. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Catherine. Good stuff. Dial up your cheekbones. Yeah, just mm, dial up your, mm, your brows. Very interesting.